Makers, it's Suzanne and it's time for another Money Making Monday video. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where every Monday we have a thread where sellers post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and how much it sold for, as well as some interesting backstories. And I love making these videos because everybody gets to learn new stuff, including me. <laughs> so I really appreciate everyone who posts on the Money Making Mondays because the world is full of stuff to sell. So even if you are having sourcing challenges right now, for whatever reason, that's okay. You can still find items to sell. So pay attention to the commentary and the backstories and you'll see if there's a will, there's a way. There are lots of people making money on eBay right now and you can too. So let's get started. I have these arranged in order of lowest sale price to highest because we have a wide variety of items in this video. Some are a crossover to collectibles, but that's okay. It's a kitchen theme, so we're going to go with that. So we're going to start with Becky, who bought this item at Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for full asking price within a week. This is a vintage Lipton tea canister, and she sold it for $15. 99. And now we have Beth who sold this WWF New York glass in a couple of days. Bought four of them for a dollar at the Goodwill during their four for a dollar sale. Sold for $17.99 plus buyer paid $9.99 shipping and she still has three left. And I really like the way she set this up for the photo with putting a white piece of paper inside the glass so that you can see the imprint on the glass. You can see it very clearly with that white background. So very smart idea. Okay, we have Laura who bought this at an antique store for $2 a few years ago. Had listed for almost two years sold on offer to watchers for $19. This is a vintage Tupperware plate set, eight of them. $2, sold it for 19. So sometimes things take a while to sell, but everything sells eventually. Mark paid 50 cents at Goodwill, sold for $20 plus $13 shipping. This is a mug and really cute design there with the navy blue background and the bird. Uh, very striking. I would have picked that up too if I was selling breakables, which I'm kind of taking a break from that right now. Heather says, anything Monster Energy. One dollar at my favorite thrift store took about a week. This is a Monster Energy 32 ounce black athletic water bottle. And then Heather commented again, technically I'm going over my five item limit, which she's referring to on the Money Making Mondays. We have had to limit it to five posts per person because the comments are already up to about 600 a week. So that's a lot of information. But she says, this just sold $5 at Goodwill, took two days. Watch these though. There are a couple out there worth big money. So this is a baseball cap also with the Monster Energy logo on it. Now we've got Terry who said, got this mug as part of a Max sold auction last month. I actually got three of these and one Minnie Mouse one too. Listed them separately and I think I figured my cost was around $2 each. Sold for full asking price to a buyer in Belgium. Using eBay international shipping, it still cost him $25 for shipping. All in just over $50 for a coffee mug. This is a Disney Mickey coffee mug. Doesn't say it's vintage, but apparently collectible. And so she paid $2 and the buyer paid $24.99 for the item only, not including the shipping. Sandy 
paid four dollars at a hospice thrift store sold for twenty five dollars took several months to sell vintage set of four Baribo craft maple wood salad bowls and there's some comments here Robin said it's crazy how expensive wooden salad bowls are my daughter bought one new for ninety five dollars and Sandy answered there are a fair amount at thrift stores here with the larger salad bowls as well and this is one of those things that looks like a pretty mundane item like why would somebody buy this it's not beautiful it's not intricately painted it is a basic kitchen item but still has value now we have Teresa Carpenter who paid a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill listed around three months this is a fancy cake pan and she sold it for $29.99 so two dollar investment sold it for 30 now we've got Ashley paid three dollars at a thrift store Splash Mountain is being rethemed hot sellers right now this is a hard to find Dixie cup Disney Splash Mountain paper cup dispenser three dollars and she sold it for 29 and then Anna commented super hot resellers anything Splash Mountain needs to be listed now I need to look through my stuff this week so keep that in mind if you have any Disney Splash Mountain stuff laying around check the prices on that next we have Rosemary who bought this Starbucks mug for a dollar ninety nine sold in less than a week for thirty dollars this is a Starbucks city mug Medan Indonesia okay we have Connie we picked up two of these vintage cookie sheets at a local rummage sale for five dollars each I listed them separately for thirty five dollars each plus shipping and they both sold within about two days this is a vintage of an X starburst cookie sheet jelly roll pan that sold for $34.97 and she said she sold both of them within about two days so great investment for five dollars each Susie paid $3.99 at Savers and sold for $39.97 plus shipping after about two weeks these are some collectible plates Mount Rushmore Statue of Liberty Chrysler building just a set of different ones $3.99 sold for $39.97 so this is more of a collectible than a kitchen item but plates we're just going to include that now we've got Heather Champion who purchased the set for five dollars last month at a yard sale unmarked and rusty still sell this is a set of cast iron skillets there's three of them and they are rusty and unmarked so they're not one of the recognizable brands like Griswold or Lodge but still sold for $39.99 not bad for a five dollar investment moving on to Cynthia purchased four of these at a charity thrift store for a dollar each sold two in this sale for seventy dollars in one week still have two listed this is Polish pottery I believe it's pronounced Bolesławia peacock dinner plate beautiful beautiful stuff so that's quite a profit margin great sale George Kelly bought this sterling silver cream and sugar set at a garage sale for five dollars sold in ten minutes for $48 plus shipping antique sterling NS national silver company cream and sugar set five bucks sold for 48 in 10 minutes and George Kelly just has the magic he just finds the best stuff it sells quickly for amazing prices if you are not following him you should be if you want to learn more about eBay and you can find his store through this listing and check out what he's got listed now and other things he's sold he's great to learn from and I really appreciate him sharing so much so freely on our group Marie five dollars on Facebook marketplace took five days to sell this is vintage marked Libby eight-piece 
flower power glasses and I was born in the late 60s and we definitely had this kind of stuff in our house these Libby glasses not exactly like this but we had the juice glasses and the iced tea glasses and all different mix matched patterns so these are fun to sell five dollars and she sold them for fifty nine dollars in five days if you are not checking out your facebook groups facebook marketplace in your local area check that out because you can find all kinds of deals to resell on ebay we've got connie again Paid $2.99 at Goodwill, sold for $65 plus shipping in about one week. This is a 1992 West Bend Stir Crazy Electric Popcorn Popper. $2.99 and sold it for $65 in one week. Moving on to Ken McNamara, another one to watch who's always selling interesting items for high profit this one is a knife block he paid eight dollars sold it for 69 another item locked away behind the glass case at goodwill it had a set of cheap chicago cutlery knives in it and maybe the folks in the back room at goodwill thought that was worth locking up sold in one week carol kirk says our Goodwill locks up all the knives, whether they're expensive or not. Great sale. And it is interesting to see what is put in those glass cases. Unfortunately, at the Goodwills in my area, Metro Atlanta, are not putting anything in the glass cases right now because of the close face-to-face -face contact you would have with the employee who is getting the item out to show it to you or hand it to you. So I actually asked that because I haven't been able to purchase any eyeglasses to resell because they're not putting them out and that's frustrating so I've had to go in different directions to find other things to sell that are on the floor but I asked them why why is there nothing in the glass case? And that was their answer was Goodwill of North Georgia, which is the organization that runs all the Goodwills in my area, are not putting those items there because you would have too much close contact with the person behind the glass case. Other thrift stores, the glasses are in big plastic tubs and you can sort through them and find what you want, but Goodwill is not even putting them out right now. So hopefully that'll change soon. Now we've got Yvonne Smith bought a new inbox food saver at the bins for $3. Kept what I wanted and put the rest in a lot for $74.99 with free shipping and sold in a few weeks. So this is a food saver lot with several different parts to it that are still new in the package. Now we've got Rachel. I've had this in my personal collection for years. This pattern is rather hard to find. I believe I had this listed for about a month. I accepted best offer. I probably could have gotten more if it was mint, but it had a chip in the spout. Sadly, the buyer said she'd had a large collection of this pattern and lost it all in a fire. This is Deruta Italy Antico Blue and Yellow Teapot. Beautiful Italian pottery with intricate painting and just gorgeous looking stuff. And remember, that does happen. People lose things, they're destroyed, they're broken, and they want to replace them. So you just never know why your buyer is buying something unless you ask them of course but especially on dinnerware and these sets of serving pieces that you would want to match your pattern people are constantly replacing them or adding to their collection so keep that in mind now we've got nancy Paid about $1.50 at the bins. Sold on seven day auction for $99. Could have probably gotten more with Buy It Now, but love turning things over fast. 
This is a Pyrex orange pumpkin butter print Amish Cinderella four quart bowl, $99. And we've got some comments here. Ginger says, great find. Eileen says, I can't believe that made it all the way to the bins. The orange is much more rare than the blue ones in that pattern. And then Nancy answered with, I get amazing stuff at the bins. Got a turquoise one at the same time, but holding it, trying to complete a set. So some good information on collectible Pyrex if that is a niche you are interested in learning in. Now I've got Ken again. $23 sold for $100, pieced together this set from various sources, sold in two weeks. It is a nine-piece Revere Ware copper bottom cookware set, $100. Jen says, I bought two of these at a thrift store and replaced some others my mom had. So I felt my heart twinkle when I saw her eyes light up. And Ken says, moms and grandmas tend to like this cookware. And we have another pretty teapot. Heidi sold this one. She said, I purchased this Royal Albert teapot for $5 at a local thrift store, sold in less than 24 hours for an offer of $110 to a lady in Australia. Super excited. So there you go. $5 turned into $110 in one day and sold to someone on the other side of the world. Isn't eBay great? Doesn't this get you excited about getting your items listed? If not, it should. I guess I should have titled this video, Ken McNamara is busy in the kitchen <laughs> because here he is again with some more pots and pans. $18 for this set, sold it for $114 in two weeks. This is Lustercraft cookware. Sheila sold this martini shaker. Purchased for $6 at Goodwill, sold for $121, took one to two months. So here you see it, Martini Cocktail Shaker Cobalt Blue. So there are just amazing finds in every single part of a thrift store, garage sale, estate sale, wherever you're getting your items to sell. They're in every single department. So you just have to be willing to explore and take a few risks and at least stop and look some of this stuff up because you just never know. Okay, Jane paid $21.50 at an estate sale and sold at auction in seven days for $127.75 plus shipping. Vintage Smirnoff Empty Vodka Bottle. So if you're one of these people that saves everything, including bottles, maybe you have something that is valuable that you can list. You won't know until you look it up. Suzanne Tucker purchased these for $4. 11 Sarah Old World Map tumblers and she sold the set for $149 plus shipping. $4 turned into $149. $49. Okay, Jamie paid $15 off a Facebook group, sold in five days for $149.97 plus shipping. Profit was $114. I have sold incomplete sets before, but this was my first full set. This is a set of collectible plates, Hercules, Pegasus, uh, 1997 Disney and I'm thinking they're plastic because I had some of these because my kids were four and one at the time and everything we ate off of was plastic so it wouldn't break and I remember these from 97 and oh another thing I'm kicking myself about not keeping but how could we possibly know that some junky plastic plate would sell for so much money all these years later. But here you have it. People collect all kinds of stuff and it doesn't have to be made of an expensive material for it to be collectible. So keep that in mind. Okay, D 
found at a thrift store for 75 cents took about six months to sell for 159 dollars plus shipping this is a coffee mug kenner employee mug terminator i'm back 90s vintage so if you're thinking about getting into coffee mugs these are out there because Dee found it and here she sold it for $159. Nothing is impossible. Patricia bought at a garage sale for $40. Love Mackenzie Childs. This is a Mackenzie Childs limited edition teapot. $40 and she sold it for $175. And then Patricia said, the other one I bought for 50 and sold for 90 So good profit between the two. Well, yeah, I'll say. Congratulations. That's a great sale. Moving on to Nancy. She said, this one came as a real surprise. Paid about $0.25 cents at the bins. Didn't take the time to look it up till I got home. Sold for $249.99 on a seven-day auction probably my best return on investment yet. This is a rare Paragon White Rose Bone China Cup and Saucer. And Ginger congratulated her. That's a great flip. And Lynn also said, beautiful, love teacups. Here's another example of an item that ended up at the Goodwill bins, probably passed through many hands and many eyes were laid on it and it still made it into Nancy's hands. She paid 25 cents and sold it for $250. The magic of eBay. Okay, Sue was the fifth item I ever listed when I started eBay in November of 2018. Was my grandma's plate. I've had it for about 40 years now. Went up and down over time on the pricing, but started at $329, so I guess it was priced right. This is a Japanese Imari hand-painted porcelain plate. It sold for $327.95. Jessica, from my own cabinet, sold in a couple of hours at full price plus shipping. This is a Salad Master 7-quart roaster with handles and lid, sold for $399.99, so we'll call it $400. Ken has a comment, whenever I list Salad Master, it usually sells in a few days. And Jessica said, where do you typically find them? At rummages and estate sales. Ken says, I found them at Goodwill, thrift stores. They're usually pretty old and beat up, but even those sell crazy fast. I sold a one quart pan with a broken lid for $69 in less than 24 hours. Just the handles are worth good money. So the brand is Salad Master, very well made kitchen items. If you don't know that one, now you do. And finally, we have Joe Angela who says, I picked this up the first day our Goodwills opened back up for $4.99. Researched enough to know that it was worth something, but wasn't sure how much, so I put it on seven-day auction starting at $69.99. My biggest, by about $1,000, sale to date, sold for $1,145 plus shipping. This is a Pugnacious Pug Dog Ceramic Cookie Jar. Isn't this amazing? This is a non-essential item that sold for over a thousand dollars. My mission with these videos is to help you keep the faith, to encourage you to keep working on your eBay business. Put your blinders on, stay in your lane, pay attention to what you're doing, don't worry about what other people are doing, and choose to stay positive because all of these examples are from people just like you who are working on their eBay business. They're finding these great items. They're getting them listed, which I know that's the backlog for a lot of people, but things are still selling. And I'm working on my sales update video for July. That's going to be coming out in a few days. And you're going to see the great improvement 
I've made in my business simply because I decided I'm going to do it. Now is the time. Online selling is the place to be right now and you are in exactly the right place at the right time to make this work. So that's my speech. I hope that's encouraging. Keep going and as always thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. Would love a comment from you below and I will see you next time. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.